Well, certainly what this government has done, or I would rather say this majority has done immediately uh, when coming into office, is to depress confidence. We witnessed in the second half of last year uh, what is usually witnessed in emerging economies, a sudden stop of investment, uh, which also was accompanied by a, a, a quite a quick rise in the spread vis-à-vis -vis the Bund, signaling that the, it, the country was waiting for new things to happen and the new things that were announced, including the possibility of leaving the euro, simply disappointed them. And this issue of lost confidence is still hanging over the country. And yet, the reforms which they've talked about and part enacted, whether it's reversal of Fornero uh, pension reforms, whether it's VAT increases delayed, whether it's fiscal boosts for certain classes of entrepreneur or individuals as well, these were supposed to boost confidence, these ideas. Why has it had the opposite effect? Well, first of all, because they were badly designed, whatever one thinks about the essence of the measure, they were badly implemented and they added to the uncertainty. So. On aggregate, the net effect is that the economy is entering recession and possibly staying there for some time. In terms of where we go forward, and, and again, even my countrymen are all just obsessed by Brexit, but I think Italians are all watching to see the European parliamentary elections in May. They're watching to see whether Salvini feels confident enough to thrust this country into yet another general election. Do you think that's a likely scenario this year? And if so, any thoughts about the outcome? Well, first on European elections, the Mr. Salvini and Mr. Di Maio have both been claiming that they don't like European rules and after the European elections they will change the rules. So who cares about the current rules? As far as uh, early snap elections, uh, domestic elections, this is a political puzzle because everyone thinks that Mr. Salvini wants to capitalize on the fact that his seats in Parliament are around 18 percent while the polls put him at around 34 percent. So he wants to capitalize on that. However, there are many risks to that. And this, of course, would add to the uncertainty and still further delay the recovery in the economy. Why do you think they are so popular still? The, I mean, obviously, no one likes austerity. No one likes being told you can't do anything as well. And they seem to be offering some form of um, alchemy for Italian people as well. But I mean, people aren't stupid in this country as well. You know, it's actually a country of savers and people have a lot of wealth. Why do you think that people are falling for this populist magic at the moment? Well, they were f have been falling for two different offerings of populism. One is about security and sovereign uh, dominance in, interna in European affairs. And this was this Mr. Salvini's uh, strategy, which uh, rewarded him quite handsomely. And the other one is about uh, being excluded from the little growth that was materializing after the crisis. And this was Mr. Di Maio's uh, strategy. So if you put these things together, one could say that uh, the, the two populist parties had the, different, had the right agenda for different reasons, but also the wrong answers to the right agenda items. Piercarlo, tell me if I'm wrong here, but I, I'm waiting to see what the strong centre centre-left reaction is. When I spoke to Mr Letta, and we'll speak to him again later, uh, and I speak to um, Mr Gentiloni, I spoke to him only last week, and, and then I hear from Mr Renzi, now, I don't see the strong centre fight back. Where is it? It's coming. It's coming. But I keep being told that. I think I was told that last autumn here. Yeah, but now the Democratic Party has elected a new leader, mm. Mr Zingaretti, who is gathering a lot of consensus and is uh, attracting uh, people that might not be, have been voting for some time. They, we hope that they will come back. Of course, the European elections will, will tell whether this strategy is winning. And above all, I hope that this strategy is not just about consensus, but having a, a vision of the country which needs to be uh, put, put back on a, a growing, growing path and, and dynamics. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.